Hey everybody, this is Vanessa from CustomClientJourney.com. I wanted to show you this uh, automation that I have created to bill your, com your customers or your clients in a semi-monthly pattern, meaning a uh, set date twice a month, like the 1st and the 15th or the 2nd and the 16th however your company would pay. There's not a native way to do this in Infusionsoft, even with subscriptions. So we've got kind of a workaround here that you can just um, pull into your Infusionsoft application and get started setting up right away. So let me show you how this works. First of all, we're going to have an internal form. So this form is going to have a couple different um, custom fields here, but it's really simple. So all we've got is the first name and last name and their email address, which is automatically filled in, of course, in any contact if you have those things in the contact record. And then we've got two custom fields here, a semi-monthly payment plan start date and a start date two. Now these are custom fields here. To get to this, just go to your Infusionsoft go to admin and go to settings and then you're going to set up custom fields for contact and that will bring you in to this area right here if you don't know how to do that so to add a custom field all you're going to do here is you're going to it's going to default to field and you click on add uh, you would name your field here which would be this name you see here and then you can select what type that is what type of field so for this instance, since we're choosing dates, I chose the date uh, selection there. And then you can even uh, choose the tab that you want this field to be in and the header that you want it to be in. Um, I've only got custom fields in here right now, so that would be my only choice. Um, that's how you set that custom field up. And then what's going to happen is when you fill out your custom form here, your internal form, you're going to enter those dates in. Now the important thing in here is to remember to not uh, use today's date. This date right here is going to need to be tomorrow or after, whichever, uh, whatever date after tomorrow is fine, or after today is fine, sorry. So today is March 7th. Uh, happy first birthday to my baby granddaughter Ari. I'm very proud of that. But uh, if I'm setting up a subscription today, I would need to plan that to bill on 3 8 or after. So, uh, in you know, a lot of uh, semi monthly payment plans, pay dates are the first and the 15th. So, since today is the 7th, this first start date needs to be the next 1st or 15th of the month. So after the 7th, the next one is the 15th. So here I would just choose March 15th, and then here I would choose April 1st to get those 1st and 15th bill dates. If you want to change those to different dates, you're certainly welcome to do that. All right, so that's the form. And then once that form is submitted, they're going to go into this setup here. So <clears throat> this here is a custom field timer. So you have, these both represent those custom fields that we just put in, the date one and date two. So the way these are set up is it waits until the next payment plan start date. So it waits until that date selected there. And then it conducts the business after this, which is actually an action set. So these fields will be, this one would be the first, or sorry, the 315, this one would be 41. And then the action set here is, I have it already set up, it's semi-monthly payment plan. To go to an action set, you can get to this a number of ways. Uh, one way is through your CRM settings and then go to action sets. Um, but here is our action set for the payment plan. Now, I also had to set up a subscription for this payment plan. Um, we want to bill, say we want to bill this person $500 on the 1st and 15th of every month. So 
the payment plan subscription that I set up was to run for four months and to pay for $500. So <clears throat> we're going to create that action set and the name of it is semi-monthly payment plan. To do that, you see we've got it set up here every month for four months. I just have it set at a dollar right now so I could test it. Um, if you have a free trial, you can add free trial days here. Uh, if not, you know, it'll charge on that on that date. So I've got it set up to auto charge to order. All right, so we're going to cancel out of there. And then back to our campaign here. So once this action set is applied on the date set here, this is going to begin the subscription. And then on this date, it's going to begin a second subscription. These are the exact same subscriptions. They're just starting on a different date. So every 1st and every 15th, this client is going to be billed here and here for however long you have that subscription to run. In my case, it's four months. So behind the scenes, that's what's all happening here. This campaign is ready for you to just download into your application. If you have any questions about it, you can reach me at Vanessa at CustomClientJourney.com. I'm happy to help you install it or answer any questions that you may have about it or modifications or whatever you need. Um, instructions are also here, and I'm going to link to this video in the instructions so that it always goes along with this. So that's this in a nutshell. It's pretty simple once it's set up. Um, but this is a great way to bill your customers on a semi-monthly basis. Thanks for tagging along today. Have a great day.